Okay. Egypt shock. Dead Sea Scroll scans suggest Noah's Ark was the Great Pyramid of Giza. Egypt's Great Pyramid of Giza may have been the metaphorical object used to shield civilization from the Great Flood narrative, as told in the story of Noah's Ark, a historian has suggested. In the Bible, it's the Old Testament, Noah's Ark is the vessel used in the Genesis Flood story through which God spares Noah, his family, and a selection of all the world's animals from a world-ending disaster. Until modern times, this says most Christians, but there's Muslims and Jews who believe this too, uh, assume that the story referred to an actual worldwide event that had happened in the relatively recent past, but modern science has suggested that there had never been a global flood of this kind. Instead, historian Matthew, Matthew Simpson has put forth a theory that the story was actually retold a great flood in the Middle East, where Egypt's high rankers used the Great Pyramids of Giza to shield themselves from disaster. Mm. So I just want to say that the story is kind of... Eh. I don't buy it. Wasn't the I, story but, copied from Gilgamesh and others pre-flood like flood stories way before Christianity and Judaism? A lot of people have flood... A lot of cultures have, uh, have flood say stories. Every, almost every uh, ancient culture has flood stories. Like the Epic of Gilgamesh is the first ever flood myth yeah, in so record. They, they and so then... They copied yeah. other religions. Were they all referring to the pyramids? Nah, I mean, it is it is possible from a theory. Like, what I think is, like, uh, most ancient civilizations were based on riverbanks and stuff. And so it is. it could be that the rivers got flooded often and there could have been, like, great floods in their particular regions and... Because they didn't know better, they didn't know how big the world is and stuff that time. They th they used to think like, oh, this is the entire world getting flooded and stuff. Right. And so when that's how... The, when was the pyramids built? Like, oh, was so... The, the, the Gilgamesh, does the, the Gilgamesh predate the pyramids or not? You know what? I uh, don't recall. I have to look that up. Somebody tell but me. The pyramids somebody were... Google it. The pyramids were around uh, uh, 2000 BC, I guess, 2 to 3000 BC. Uh, let me check this out. Gilgamesh. Because Gilgamesh, so we know that Gilgamesh, is Gilgamesh the first flood story? Like, is it? Yeah. Okay. In so, record. So it's, it's around okay, the same so time, they, I think. Oh, date written was two, uh, 2100 BC. Okay, so Gilgamesh yeah, it was 2100 BC. Let's see what the first, the first pyramids, what was that? Pyramid. When these are Giza, so yeah. Giza. When was the yeah Giza pyramid built? Hold on, let's see. If it's around it the Mary... Oh no! Oh, so the pyramids predate. So it's twenty five hundred BC. Okay, might be. I don't know. Uh, I was gonna say they'd have to predate Judaism, which is like obviously. five. Or no, 6,000. No. Yeah, no. So, this, this yeah. Abrahamic religions is way after this. Okay, so the right. Gil Gilgamesh was after the uh, 400 years after the pyramids were built. So I guess the story can be true. We're not historians. We're not experts. We have no idea. Um, was this guy like some credible or some cr religious? He, he is a historian, but some of the um, things, the... Uh, theories that he puts forth or the reasoning that he puts forth seems a little bit you know sketchy to me or that it just it doesn't seem scientifically sound for example he talks about um there's uh bronze doors in the baptistry in florence created by lawrence gilberti who died in the 15th century and the Doors were completed in the 1400s, and they show scenes from the Old Testament, and one of them illustrates the period just after the flood, and he depicts the ark, this particular artist, depicts the ark as a pyramid. Mm. I, I'm not sure how that yeah, is any not... kind of evidence, just because okay, this guy here, depicted here, it. That doesn't seem some... like real, you know, but just before shopping, before say, the if I want to see something, how credible something is, the first thing I would check 
again, this is not like 100% bulletproof to f see if somebody's right or not. But the first thing I would check is what other secular historians are saying about this. That's what I would check first. Yeah, go on, Shapan. Yeah, so what I thought was that uh, when they're saying that the pyramids were the Noah's Ark, I think it's not like when the pyramids were constructed. It was around that time. I mean, the pyramids have been constructed before already, and the flood happened years after that. And they took shelter on the top of the pyramids, to climb the pyramids to, I mean, to get it's safe from the floods and stuff I just and, think it's such a stretch though pyramid and ship yeah. it's just so different it's just like I, I don't know Whoa. I mean it, it is possible that Noah's Ark is the most famous blood myth so they are just comparing that to that I don't think I don't buy it unless somebody proves otherwise unless I mean I haven't seen this guy's arguments that much it just seems perfect I, can I tell you what I told when uh, my teach when I uh, was in school in Iran I told my teacher and uh, my religion teacher that I think Noah's Ark represents the first cells and they because think about it when the first cells were being made on earth the base of the uh, most of the world was flooded right um, you know and we have the primordial soup um, and what is the first cells basically were like this kind of con container like lipid you know uh, around like what the RNA and the DNA so I thought like well this ship the world was flooded so that's very similar to Noah's Ark and what the ship has all the animals in it and all the animals are representing the DNA and RNA in the first cell and then when the flood stopped all the animals came from the ship and all the animals that we have today comes from this ship so just like the, all the animals that we have today comes from the very first cell so I was like, I think this sh this story of Noah's Ark is God's reference to how life began on Earth. And my teacher, I just came up with that, and my teacher loved it, right? Uh, she was like, oh my God, like this is amazing. And then I realized that how easy it is to BS your way in religion after I thought about it, right? Because I just said, like, I just made that up, right? I don't know if that's right. It just sounds really good, right? And I thought, like, you know, if you just put your... If you just use your imagination the right way, you can make the most anything without evidence sound so profound, I think. Anyways, go ahead. Well, I was going to say, he also gives the standard arguments that this Hebrew word doesn't actually mean this. It means something else, you know, um, and um, things like that, or what the Greeks referred to this word as. But to me, none of that's what's really interesting. What to me is really interesting is the technology that they used to come up with this, whether it's a, you know, a true idea or not. Because, you know, they found the Dead Sea Scrolls a long time ago. Hmm. But they haven't been able, like more than 50 years ago, but they haven't been able to read a lot of the things on there because it was damaged or it was... Um, ruined from the uh, parchment. So what they did was they created this special scanner that was able to scan tens of thousands of the fragments and it used different wavelengths of light at 28 times higher resolution than normal scans. And so because of that, these previously in a, um, illegible words are now able to be read. So to me, that's what's the most interesting part about the story yeah. is the science that they used mm. to the read the Dead Sea Scrolls. But yeah, what's, what's yeah. in the Dead Sea Scroll that suggests any of this, by the way? Like, what is it? Well, what, what he is says um, before they found this out, no, uh, the, regarding the story of Noah's Ark, scholars had been unable to read a particular word following the Hebrew phrase "the Ark's tallness," but the new scans refer. Reveal that the word is ne esfat. The meaning of this word is gathered, which this doctor says at Hebrew University of Jerusalem means that the ark's ribs, the size of the arcs, were gathered at the oh. top to form the shape of a pyramid. Come on, that is not evidence for any. Oh, wait, and that is the typical. Then he says, a Greek translation of the Old Testament, which dates to the third century, describes the ark as pyramid-shaped. 
using a Greek word that also has a similar meaning to gather. So, like I said, it's just it's they're so cherry stupid. picking. This is yeah. Okay. Oh, the, it yeah. looks like oh, the ship looks like the pyramid. It must be referring to the pyramids. <laughs> what? Okay, you know, they just ruined a great story, right? So this was a story that was very interesting. It was scientific. They used new technology, and they're reading some parts of the Sea Scrolls that they couldn't read before. And this guy had to just go ruin it with his own conspiracy theory and just put, like, make it, you know. It was a beautiful story until this guy, you know. And, I, and you know, what might be their, these people's motivation, and I don't know. I'm just, you know. Uh, they think, like, how could I... How could I be so relevant? Like, I'm going to just put something shocking out there that I kind of know that it might be BS, but this is the only way that this is going to get news coverage. <laughs> if I say, like, <laughs> no, Ozark, we're the pyramids! Yeah! Like, we're like now people are going to be talking about my theory, even though I know it's nonsense. It's BS. But again, this is how, you know, if it's not shocking enough, people are not going to talk about you. So you're just going to suggest nonsense theories, I guess. Well, he's in direct... Uh, uh conflict with the uh, Noah's Ark film that came out in the 70s where they supposedly climbed some mountain and they found actual yeah. you know hey. remnants of the wooden ark so it's all everybody's been doing this and it's all like you said just right. you know how can I be relevant how can I make this conform to my idea of right. what happened Ben is saying why don't ask us about it instead of writing rubbish and heresy <laughs> We have an authentic evidence of what the Ark was and where it ended up. I think this is a religious person saying this. Uh, Adam is saying, might... yeah, Adam saying with the evidence of the of water erosion around the. Uh, I think this is another religious person. Um, by the way, just one thing with regards to the whole flood story. I really like the part that God puts a rainbow in the sky so that re he remembers not to flood the world ever again. It's kind of like, it's kind of like God sticking out. Like he, he needs to, he needs to put him, uh, put a reminder for himself. Like, <laughs> I might, I might forget that I'm not supposed to flood. I'm just gonna put like the sticky note here, just for like, do not flood. Do Earth. not flood. <laughs> do not, like imagine if he's like, ooh, I'm gonna flood you guys, and he sees the sticky note like the rainbow, like, oh yeah, I, I was, I'm not supposed to do this anymore. So he would forget if he didn't put a reminder for himself. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> thank you for joining us subscribe to our channel hit the bell thingy if you haven't i don't know why what has what's holding you back okay if you haven't subscribed to our channel why haven't you subscribed to our channel explain that to us please like bell <laughs> and also if you if you're not getting notifications and stuff because youtube is not telling people that we have shows because YouTube is like, oh, this person told us that they want to get your shows, right? They want to get your videos, but nah, you, we think is no. And oh, like, oh, they also hit the bell button, but nah, you guys are too controversial. We want to show them mainstream stuff. We want to show them CNN or cat videos or whatever. But even there are people are like, no, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we don't think you want this. They're like, no, please show it to us. We say to you, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we think we know what's better for you than you yourself. So to solve that, link, there's a link in the description, uh, which is to our newsletter. So hopefully some of our, we could email it to you. So hopefully you get some of our content that way. Okay. So yeah, subscribe to our newsletter as well. And share, share our videos because... You know, we do get demonetized, that's an obvious, on every one of our videos, so F that, but we don't care about that anymore. <laughs> but we also get deprioritized, and that's even more damaging to us. Deprioritized, what does that mean? That means we're not, we don't show up on the suggested, you know, videos on the right, and all that, you know, on, the, on people's homepages, and that's how channels grow. Unfortunately, we can't grow, so we need you guys to share our videos. 